you know, when Christmas is around the corner, I always I get the itch, the itch to make some paper craft stuff. <laughs> And I'm still very into learning more 3D modeling stuff. And this year for Christmas, I thought I used the 3D capabilities of Babylon to create a cool paper cutout star generator thingy. Okay, so this is what the generator website currently looks like. On the left, we have Babylon. On the right, we have Paper.js that creates the cutout shapes. So you can look a bit around the star and you can change a few settings, for example, the size change the point thickness, like super thick, or make it quite thin. And you can also change the overall thickness of the star itself. And last but not least, of course, you can change the number of star points you want to have. And as you can see, every time you change something, it generates a new cool pattern into each point. And the, the cool thing from a generative art perspective for these kinds of projects are that you can work with symmetry. So the pattern generation is super simple. I do one background pattern. These are the thin lines that you can see, and they are just randomly connected straight lines. And I think having them parallel gives a very structured crystalline look maybe. But then I need something to break this very strict pattern up and make it more interesting and playful. And this is where I put one bendy line in this triangle that can go basically everywhere. And I cut this line out and give it very thick borders. So in the end, you will only see the borders and they will overlap the standard gritty texture in the background. And then we have the bonus of symmetry in the star. And this just makes everything look pretty cool. When you have the same thing repeated all over the star, this will always give a very a very, let's say, maybe majestic look. <laughs> so now I want to try two things. Of course, I need to make a test cut. <laughs> but overall, I want to make stars that are the basic, just the cutout shape. And then I also really would love to build some lanterns out of that. And I think just putting tracing paper behind my cutout parts should give quite good lantern parts in the end. So let's get stuff onto the laser cutter and find out if this works. It took me two minutes of folding <laughs> and I found my first, my first error that I did in the code. The glue folds have an angle, so they fit on top of each other. And I have a fixed angle that I just used and I thought, nah, this will, this will just fit. But it obviously doesn't because the pointy angle is steeper than the angle I chose here. So this is something I need to adapt. But besides this tiny angle issue, I think this, oops, okay. But besides this angle issue, I think this looks really promising. So let me fix that up in the code and then we do another cut. I feel quite confident that it works properly this time. So I went full in and have a big bit, a bit of a bigger version of our five star, five point star that I will make into a lantern. So I also brought some matching tracing paper cutouts and I would say paper Avengers assemble. Nah. <laughs> oh, ah. By the way, if you want to wake up some childhood trauma of every German 90s kid, ask them about white crafting glue. This will be a very interesting discussion to have.
So I just glued on the last part and I think it looks pretty neat. But what I did not glue in is the very last strip here because I want to insert some sort of LEDs so it becomes a proper lantern. And in the best case, I can find a way to easily control them. That would be mm, nice. <laughs> that would be really cool. All right, so what I have here is a battery. Two uh, NeoPixel clones, I guess they are. <laughs> And last but not least, I have a pretty cute little ESP board here, Xiao, with an ESP32 C3. And the nice part is that it has also a battery charging capabilities on the backside. So I think that's basically it. I might need, oh yeah, there is one. Uh, I think I will just let the cable reach out of the lantern. I guess this one, <laughs> the cable becomes the strip to hang the lantern up. Soldering iron. Soldering was successful. The charging light is on. We're good to go. And what I'm now going to do is flash ESP home onto this ESP. My partner configured Home Assistant for our tiny house and has also ESP home already installed. So I think this integration should go hopefully rather quickly. Let's see. <laughs> so let's go for a new device. Okay, uh, configuration created. So what I did now is I just copied and light configuration in, let's see, uh, I hit install and let's see if it shows me a form of error. And I preferably do this wirelessly. All right, success. Uploading, looks good. And now, now to the interesting part. <laughs> let's see if this thingy lights up. Um, it does, right? Oh, it does. Nice, and we can change the lights to red and to green. Oh, neat. Yeah, sorry, I hope you can sort of see the colors. Neat, okay, and now I can glue it up. Let's do this. <laughs> Sweep, swoop. It's done, finished, and of course, I did not only make one with five stars with seven points. And last but not least, one beautiful thick one with nine points. And now I'm super excited to show you how they look in the dark. And as promised, I also made some pure cutout stars. And I have to say, making these is super addicting. So this is what I will do until Christmas, I guess. And you know what? There are a few days left for Christmas. And I thought, this is the perfect gift for my patrons. As you know, twice a year, I send out little generative goodies to my goodie tier patrons. So for this... Winter edition, you will get uh, laser cut unique stars in the form of these plain cutout shapes. And also when you see this video, the generator will be publicly available. You can use the generated files as I do for laser cutter, but they also work perfectly well for printing. So I hope you have some time to relax, enjoy the last days of 2023. And if you create or make or assemble one of these stars, please let me know. I'm super excited to see what you do with the cutout templates. All right then. That's it from me for this year, I guess. <laughs> uh, see you. See you next time. And thanks for everything. Bye.